The bell rings and Eastbrook High School is once again on the move. The backpacks aren't any lighter than when some of you were in school, but what comes out when you first get in class is a little different. What you have on the big screen is going to show up on your small screen. Language arts teacher Katherine Hirons is tuning in her class by logging them in. And now those sites are always a few clicks away. For years now, I've been taking the students into the computer lab maybe once a week. Um, now that we have the devices in hand, we don't have to go to the computer lab once a week. The computer lab's with us every single day. A lab that comes in a small package starting in kindergarten. And fifth graders on up can even take them home. So what you have here is a portable device that's also a fully functional laptop computer. And then you can kind of turn it around and it becomes more of a tablet and has those kind of interactive applications that you use with a stylus. But the teachers who are using this say the best thing is it always stays with the student and it connects them to the world. Okay, what paragraph are we getting that from? Seven. Connections matter for junior high teacher Julie Neergardner. She doesn't see books disappearing, but there's now a new world of resources in every student's hands. Because with books, you have to buy them, obviously, and I don't often have um, a full classroom set, or if I want to do an entire novel with um, the entire seventh grade, that's 150 books. That's a, a big cost. Obviously, these are a big cost as well, but I have access to so much more here. All this connection and convenience does come with a price. Eastbrook will spend $1.7 million over the next four years to put the Pladlets in students' hands. Some of that money will come from technology fees that would have gone to textbooks. And Superintendent Brett Garrett says no educational programs are getting cut to fund the technology. I wouldn't support it if it were replacing music or art or um, you know, those curricular, co-curricular classes that really support uh, what we really want to do here at Eastbrook. It actually enhances and gives those teachers even, uh, I think, more tools in their toolbox to uh, uh, teach those, those classes more effectively. And perhaps less paper means more time for teaching. I've always gotten here an hour before school starts to make sure I've had copies made, make sure everything's in place. And what I found this last week is I haven't been at the copy machine once. I have made a total of five individual one piece of paper copies, five copies. That's it. It's a huge difference. I'm doing more up and one-on-one -on -one with the kids um, here in class, I think, now. Um, because they need a little more assistance or they want me to check something and so we're doing a lot of that and there's a lot of helping and collaboration between the students that maybe wasn't there before because they just opened their book and they did the activity. Now they're helping each other. Hey, you can do this and, and this is how you can fix this. From Grant County to the world, the future of learning looks connected and portable.